Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, A to Z series, which we're playing as Gator Maz. Now we're on a historical, we of course we're using the mods Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio. Last Patrol is done very well, oh my god. Um, Old World Blues Generic Decisions, um, what else we got? Old World Blues Tech Expanded, and we have a generic focus tree really here. But we've done quite a bit of it just because the war between us and the patrolmen has lasted quite a while, but we're led by Sobic the Powerful. The very definition of a cruel tyrant, Sobek rules the Gator Maws dry with an iron fist. Named after the Egyptian crocodile god of the Nile after she wrestled and killed a horrifically mutated gator when she was 14, Sobek stalks the marches of Louisiana with the tribe seeking travelers who stray too far from the road and we have a unique natural spirit chains across the river. By draping submerged iron chains across the vicious various rivers that weave through the marshes of Louisiana, we can entangle traders that attempt to explore routes west of the Mississippi. By raiding the stranded vessels, we can gain a huge variety of materials that would otherwise be much more scarce. And where else? We have radical scientists, you know, we got formal troubles, mean dudes, take what you need, slave researchers, new age weaponry, recruit them young, we like, we like them young here, side hustle. And as you can see, we've split these guys in half. Casualties, real quick 700 versus 1500, so overall not bad. We're taking their capital, Lafayette. And uh, right now, we're just going to try to kill off all these enemy divisions and then push down this way to Moss Bluff. Um, also, in the meantime, uh, the Texan Brotherhood doesn't want to murder us, uh, which is not good. Very unideal, but it is what it is. And these divisions right now, we have only three templates, 20 combo width, anti-tank and demo teams, while our spec ops are basically the same thing, but spec ops versions of them. Manpower has been an issue, but something unique here is that we have two options, conscription of allies. We started with born warriors, but we also have petty gang conscription, the ra raider stuff, but also this stuff. Hmm. Texan Brotherhood wants to kill us off. That's not good. Um, I will be using console commands on this one just um, just because uh, I want us to take out Bayou Motors and they already have a border here which is not good for us so that's really 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 just not ideal. So yeah. Not really bueno. Um, you know you just stay right there for now. So what we could try and kill these guys off, take out Bl Moss Bluff, maybe try to quickly take out Bayou Motors, maybe the Houston Rockets but us fighting the Texan Brotherhood is something I want to avoid as long as as possible because they're going to be, be beating the crap out of us. I might force them to take out Edgecito Mexicano early on, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So, after a very long war with the uh, patrolmen, we got Bayou Motors next. We actually have two special forces divisions finally. Hopefully, here we can do okay because the, uh, the Brotherhood is getting really itch itching for a fight. I'll probably have them fight Edgecito Mexicano, like I said earlier. Um, other than that, the way it's looking, what the? Ah, Republic of Fredonia. Holy crap. I've played as a cold delivery before, but... Wow. Anyways, uh, we gotta beat these guys up. Um, so the goal is to get down right there. Can you get there too? That'd be fan flipping task if you could. Hopefully we can do okay before uh, everyone else wants to kill us. We have like no manpower as we're trying to get a little bit more compliance here. Um, uh, overall. So we're gonna do that because we could use the PP because we love PP here. And, uh, yeah, just trying to beat the crap out of these guys. Come on, Special Forces, you can do it. Now they threw in their own Special Forces, god dang it. Um, that's the case. Everyone, help us, help attack. Because we really need to get down to the cannery. My goal is to get to this tower right here where I'm pointing at. Uh, you know, you guys force it. Um, just because we, oh, they're forced at fence too. Hmm. That should really be hurting them. But hey, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, they're really trying to hold the fort down, so. Uh, this is going to be a lot tougher than I initially would have liked. But our divisions are just not that great. Using conventional warfare, a lot of the land auction seems okay. Not great in uh, Old World Blues. But regardless, we're still doing our focus tree, trying to expand. And we're going to grab what? Monthly population? Uh, we never die. And incinerators are nice too. And there you go. Because it's nice and hot down here, so why not just make it a little hotter? Uh, no man. Well, almost no manpower. They have up to 800. They've got up to 15 divisions. Special forces should be able to punch a hole through here. But you just never. Oh, god dang it. And every time I try to. Oh, yeah, you actually went down there. Look at that. That's good, finally. Oh, we'll go for Fraudonio. Um, I guess we get actually down here, maybe? That actually worked out even better for us. Let me get there, and you could take Port Cybermont. That would be fantastic. But yeah, these wars are extremely brutal. And Gator Maws is very, very difficult to play as. Incredibly difficult. Way more difficult than I thought they would be. But, uh, and we're out of manpower. Lone Star is really quite thick. Um, uh, some Brotherhood. Yeah, they're getting pretty close to going to war with us. Which kind of sucks, but 
We'll keep working on the cannery down here, buy you motors, and uh, hopefully these guys will want to take us out. And here we have it, finally. Well, the, we have the Provisional Republic of Texas, and they've just gone to war with us. But we did finish off Bayou Motors, and we did go to war with the Houston Rockets, just because I was feeling a bit crazy here. Um, so they got on board with us, but they aren't really attacking us yet. And I have also cord. Uh, two of the tiles are already from Laf Lafayette, so they probably just, just when you get there, stay there. You know. uh, so we got one extra division there. We're just kind of hanging out against them. Um, I think it's going to take us quite a while to get anything done here, really. We got a lot of focuses as well, so. But uh, I'm not surprised they ain't doing too much. We got a crap ton of divisions, crap ton of industry. My God. Um, but we're in Louisiana. You don't mess with Louisiana. Not even Louisianans mess with Louisianans. Isn't that it's Pel the Pelican is the state bird of Louisiana. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. Honestly, like I said, I'll probably have the Provisional Republic of Texas try to take out or be taken out by Santa Ana or something like that. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to snap for this group. I guess we'll go with more entrenchment. I mean, because here are the couch. We've lost 200 versus 1,200 against Houston Rockets. I might want to bait him in. Maybe we could uh, send him down here, maybe? It's only three infantry. Three little pesky infantry divisions. Can't do anything. As we'll probably try to grind it out against the Republic of Texas, maybe? But, uh, yeah, this has been a... It's been a journey, just me sitting here trying to get these guys done. Resource-wise, we're missing some scrap metal, which is not good. I'm gonna get some more of that and researching for some more. Uh, we get Force of Corn, which is kind of different and unique, though. If you can't win people's hearts, uh, pull it out from the chests. So you'll lose quite a bit of stability and manpower and workshops and infrastructure, uh, and pop local population, but... You get a free, you get, if you can afford that cost, you get a core. So we're at 2280. Um, so there's that in thing. That's that thing. Um, call me for, oh, I also do optimize training for a free 50 bottle caps. Just 50, so. We can call for war as well. We can't stand aside anymore. The, uh, there are people with stick, fire sticks and other technological miracles who are only waiting to destroy the ones beneath them. We should call the tribe for war and give these people a hard challenge. That will help out the settlements too, so. Um, cool. Yeah, we're making quite a bit of money, which is finally nice. But, uh, I think... Not great. Contact loss is not good. We actually have 87% stability. And 65% war support. Um, I think overall we'll be doing fine. I'll continue to try to bait the AI into running into our lines like crazy. Ooh, actually, we have 75 army XP. If we get up to 100, we will probably go with advanced technology decisions. And usually I do, uh, refined warfare. I really like refined warfare quite a bit. Um... But, that being said, I think because of what we are in Louisiana, I might go asymmetric, actually. Uh, oh, oh, let's turn those first. Uh, sure, more max planning. Just because it fits our description a little bit better. Because I like refined warfare. Refined warfare is very nice. Um, but I mean, asymmetric warfare is good, but ways on tactics sound good. But we're not using militia or enforcers. So we just can't get the same benefits from going down that land doctrine. Um, I mean, yes, yeah. you get a little more breakthrough for everybody, recovery, defense, and piercing. You lose actually some entrenchment on the side. And Cazador Venom, that makes sense to use, I like that a lot. But even then, it doesn't help us that much. We probably will go asymmetric warfare, but it might go down ancient tactics. Because fighting in the swamps, that's an ancient type of thing, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Fighting in the swamps as 100% uh, ancient tactics. You know what? Can we bait him even harder? Here. You and you. Just go right here. And hang out. Because I've been doing this off screen for like at least an hour and a half, if not two. So. Uh, more output would be nice. Is there resistance target? Can we actually core this one? We're close. By the time we come back, we'll be able to core it, I'm sure. So. Also, we had enough money to upgrade its node, which is pretty nice, too. And uh, we can do that. Or we can focus on more planes. Let's try to fight the Republic of Texas. is going to take forever to do. And these guys too. Follow me. We don't. You know what? They stopped. Oh, never mind. They did not stop attacking. But honestly, I might just end it here for this episode. We'll see how far we can get in the next episode. I'll probably have to use more cons commands just to make sure that we don't completely die. But Cherokee Nation is looking pretty good though. Hmm. I'm only leaving the war of the NCR. So, if you somehow enjoyed the first episode of us trying to play as Gator Moss, please consider leaving a like. It's taking me a while to get to this point. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we're gonna grind, grind, grind our teeth. Until we're completely out of manpower. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.